Hello, nice to have you with us again. We're gonna do a little chicken, a chicken with a watercress salad, so something very summery, kind of fun to eat all the time. Um, to do that, I'm gonna start my chicken. You know, my chicken is what's gonna take most of the time. I'm take a little bit of butter in a nice warm pan with a touch of oil. And I'm uh, gonna braise my chicken. I like to season my meat first, just because, to be honest with you, frankly, if I don't, I probably forget. And um, you know, it's no substitution if you forget to season in your meat before you cook it, or when you cook it, you just never get that flavor back in. Because a little bit of salt and pepper, a couple of fresh herb, just to add some flavor to the chicken when it's roasting, a little thyme and rosemary. We can even throw a little glove of garlic in the cooking process. There it is, we got that going. I'm gonna let him fancy or like that, nice and easy. In the meantime, I can make my vinaigrette with the Dijon mustard. And um, let my chicken kind of go nice and easy like that on the side. Perfect. To, um, another thing I'm gonna do to uh, add a little crunch to my salad, I'm gonna do a little pomme allumette. You know, pomme allumette is a sh shoestring potato and it's a quick deep fry to it. Uh, to do that, I take a mandolin, like this one, and um, just uh, do some thin slice out of it. This guy's away. I got a nice cucumber potato. And just do my little, you know, you're welcome to use a knife if you don't have a normal mandolin at home. That mandolin just make it nice and sturdy. This done, I can move up on the side. I got um, I'm gonna do a quick fryer with this. You know what I like to do is before I fry it, I'm gonna dry them all a little bit with the clean towels to uh, take away a little bit of the. It's in the fryer. In the meantime, I can check my chicken, flip him over, kind of let him roast nice and easy on his own. The fryer will be at 350, you know, not too hot, not too cold. Just enough to get a little crunch to the potato. There it is. Now the potato is just going to stir it nice in this quick fry. That's exactly what I want here. Yeah. Now we're going to remove it from the hole. And keep it on the side, you know, let the excess of the oil get away. That's kind of what I'm looking for. A nice little crunchy potato to put on top of my salad. We, um, in the meantime, we're going to make the Dijon mustard now. To make the Dijon mustard, we, uh, we take some um, mustard. J'ai besoin d'un neuf, Jean-François. I got the Dijon mustard. I got some um, um, one yolks of eggs. Kind of like when you start a mayonnaise, it's kind of the same process. You know, mix them all nice together. Put a little pinch of salt in there at that time just to seize the eggs and the mustard together. Take a little bit of the balsamic vinegar. Mix them all nice. And then add my vegetable oil. Nice and easy. There it is, wonderful. And um, when I'm done with my uh, vinaigrette like this, obviously, give it a little uh, taste. Perfect. Put him on the side. That's one more step to done already. In the meantime, for my salad, I got some nice watercress. I got some... Uh, we're gonna put some tomato in there, some apples. I mean, I'm gonna cut my apples to go in my salad. Just do some nice stick. This we don't need to the bone. Get a couple of the tomato, I'll remove the skin. 
and put a little olive oil, some little stick of carrot to give some crunch to the salad. I'm gonna check on my chicken. Was perfect, no nice and braised. You get a nice golden color. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna remove my chicken. And what we say is let him rest for a second in the meaning the juice stay inside and um, you don't cook them right away. Okay, great. Let me know I got my salad. I'm gonna take my water press here on the other side. I'm gonna take a spoon of my vinaigrette. And I don't. I'm going to take a little more watercress. I think I can use more watercress. Let's go for more watercress. That is perfect. I mean, I got my carrots, I got my apples, I got my Dijon mustard and balsamic. We're going to shut the gas here. And um, I'm going to start to um, get my plate ready. There it is. I'm going to toast my salad. A lot of nice flavor in there. Little uh, freshness of the apple and the uh, nice. Uh, I'm gonna take my chicken breast and just cut them. You know, nice. You see, like when you let him uh, resting it, like it's that that shiny color and nice and juicy in the middle. That's really what you want a perfect chicken to be. A lot of time when you over try the chicken is because you don't put the sauce nice on top like that like you're supposed to and also you let them cook too long and that's why you know I think it's, it's kind of a shame and I garnish the plate with a bit of green hole I got here a little bit dry I take my little shoestring potato and just finish on top to add a little bit of crunch to my salad and that's kind of my uh, nice summery salad, you know, uh, watercress salad. You know, watercress grow physically around the river, Mirabel. That's why I really like to use it because I can pick them up in the morning and really use it in the salad right away. Nice roast chicken, little apples, balsamic vinaigrette. Delicious salad for the summertime. Enjoy it. We'll see you next time.